hi welcome this is the energy of today october 31st i hope you're doing well spirit what is the energy for today october 31st what does the viewer need to see in here for today october 31st please october 31st okay so you have the fool um which is great because it's new positive energy uh, whatever it is that you've been waiting to take that leap of faith in the coast is clear you can take that leap maybe you you're just starting over you know emotionally financially whatever that might be you have the empress so are you going towards an empress energy um, this is that that kind of feeling of just having everything surrounded um, like having everything that you want, being surrounded by your family, your 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 uh, loved ones, like um, relationship-wise, um, even friendships. But there's also that sense of uh, abundance and that sense of feeling secure. Okay, is that what is making you take that leap, that leap of faith? Um, you have the will, so. I do feel with this wheel of fortune, it's almost as if um, something new is coming in for you. Um, is this career based? Is this just having that security or that sense of like everything is okay, every, family is good, money is good? It's definitely a good feeling. And then you got the chariot. So the chariot is really being able to see between you know your dualities, the, the good, the bad. Um, it's that sense of freedom. It's that sense of taking charge with something like action, going at at something to, with like like uh, no regret, no no um, doubt. You know, just sort of knowing that you're in the right. Okay, uh, this is a masculine energy. This is a feminine energy. So, um, is there's is there this new sort of energy that's starting up for you and another person? Um, maybe this is career based. You have the death card and the moon so it's the death of that fear the death of all that thing all the things that sort of kept you in worry or um you know maybe loss of faith or something here okay you got the moon and the death card with the death card it's that transformation it, it's being able to release you know um it gives you that sense of hope though because you can start over again but you've learned something is what i see here with that death card um maybe it's to allow yourself to see through honesty what is honest and what isn't um a lot of mysteries are being revealed at this time um maybe you're you're sort of taking the warnings that your your higher self is giving yourself or your spirit guides okay um what's at the top of the deck let's see here you have the emperor so this is great because so you have the emperor and the empress so a balancing of energy um maybe hostilities you know uh if it's in the family or in love there's that sense of peace that's allowing you to start over again okay and maybe take charge with something at the bottom of the deck and it is the underlying energy for today is the hermit so uh really listening uh being pulled towards something or or someone or a situation um this is really breaking free and becoming more aware of what you truly want maybe being connected to spirit or to god um with the hermit it's really that kind of card of you're following that intuition and you're being able to shed a lot of old skin you know as far as things that you've been sort of carrying around baggage uh anything that's toxic you know um maybe you've had this time to sort of be a hermit and somewhat look at things from a long distance and see the bigger picture you know this is a whole new journey in that sense of starting over you have positive cards here um with the exception of the death and the moon card uh, where maybe you've been stuck in something that was manipulative and not so honest and now maybe you're seeing it okay especially in this depiction of the moon uh, you know maybe you've been stuck in something for a long time and could be ego um so maybe you're releasing your ego here and having some kind of freedom so take it as it resonates for you today 
I will go deeper into what these mean for you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. If you do celebrate Halloween, if not, that's okay. But it is my mother's birthday, so I always like to to celebrate. Um, she's been gone for uh, maybe 13 years now, so... Um, but I always feel like I have to celebrate her birthday <laughs> for her. So, yeah. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's see here. It, it's a hard holiday for me to be spiritual to celebrate. But when it's my mom's birthday, I just can't help myself. I don't know. Okay, what is the fool, please? What is the fool here? What is the fool? Okay, so... Uh, you got the nine of cups that wish fulfillment is that wish giving you that sort of um this kind of energy to leap into something new maybe the transformation of you or a transformation of situation that maybe you haven't been able to go forward with i do feel there's some kind of um something coming to you that you've been wanting okay is this financial freedom with the Ten of Pentacles? With the Ten of Pentacles, it's really, um, you know, being able to take care or provide or uh, being comfortable and having your family and your pets and this sense of growth and the sense of grounding sort of energy. Is that what you've been working for? Um, is this a new beginning in a family structure? And uh, as far as healing something between families, you know? Uh, what is the Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles, maybe even buying a home. I feel for some of you, it's buying a home. Um, so let's see here. You got the Lovers. You got the Eight of Swords. The Hierophant. The Eight of Cups. The Nine of, of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles. So is this you really taking that energy of choosing love you know um getting out of that kind of um stuck situation with the ten of pentacles and the cards that i'm seeing laid out here have you had a struggle as far as settling in a situation in a long-time relationship that maybe was not something that was fulfilling for you with the eight of cups it's this sort of energy to move away from that especially when there's a lot of worry and fear associated with it um with the hierophant and the nine of swords is it something that you chose to stay in maybe due to to maybe satisfying the family or um not really knowing which way to go um is it because of fear is this time for you to have your success now and get out of loss uh the lovers is very um it's a very powerful energy that spirit and god sort of sends to you as far as telling you move out of something that isn't fulfilling you know get out of that energy and allow yourself to have love allow yourself to have balance um is this a spiritual a spiritual union coming together for you i do feel the nine of pentacles is telling you this is your time to make it work this is your time to build that sort of legacy with someone or to allow yourself to receive the gifts that god is wanting you to have as far as Maybe, you know, this is where for a long time you've had some kind of disadvantage, but now it's time to get out of that. Have you lost money? Have you lost people? Um, is there a worry of getting out of a, a relationship and going into the new, the one that you truly want and love? Um, the Hierophant is very structured. But it also creates change and it's really coming to terms with your spirituality that will allow you to move in the right direction you know um what is the nine of swords nine of swords do you think that this person is lo no longer there for you um so you have the four of pentacles the queen of pentacles and the seven of pentacles so um it, it's as if you know have you been maybe playing to the wrong relationship or maybe being con committed to somebody who is all about money and control and some sort of obstacle, you know? Um, you've got the, the Seven of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Is this somebody who just sort of is like um, 
after your money or your stability or uh, is this you getting out of your kind of energy of of not moving of being stagnant of taking your time maybe you know um yeah very interesting i think you're worried how to make this shift how to how to remove obstacles but the four of pentacles is this a gain i feel like it's a gain i don't feel like it's it's a disadvantage but perhaps this is where you start sort of moving on those things and taking a risk to be happy especially if you've been under control over somebody um or someone's been over control of your energy as far as you not being able to change have a change of mind or move homes or uh, get out of a dead-end job or a dead-end marriage or something like that whatever this is you're being called to sort of ground yourself and have some kind of success but it needs that risk it needs that sort of uh, plunge you know um, choosing choosing to go towards either the person you love or the thing that makes you happy so what is the empress here what is the empress okay so you have uh the the chariot which is a very balanced kind of relationship it's almost that kind of feeling of um knowing what is right and what is wrong as far as relationships okay um you got the three of wands the ten of cups and the nine of wands so maybe needing to heal or um, heal from a situation it could be that you need to sever a relationship in order for you to get into the appropriate relationship whether that's a business relationship a, a family relationship or work relationship okay um, I do feel that sense of healing something so do you sort of have to take that risk and that plunge and maybe offer apologies or um, maybe stop some kind of separation or blockage or something like that okay um i want to know what is the chariot it's like you got to take if you want this abundance if, if you want the success that comes with the empress empress you sort of have to take that plunge you know with the chariot please what is the chariot um just almost like yeah you got to get out of the fear mode maybe so the seven of swords see withholding fear uh, maybe doubt um whatever the situation is it's almost as if don't push yourself back from it because there is a gift there of abundance and love there for you um is this what you're allowing to give in or to sort of let in with the wheel okay what is the wheel please what is the wheel so the fool it's you allowing yourself to start over again uh taking that leap of faith um there's a lot of worry in in the new venture that you're going in whether that is business or whether that is love there's a lot of fear to take the next step um but it's really spirit trying to tell you don't worry about it because there is that sense of balance and freedom and love uh, without strings attached but it's almost like you got to take that plunge um, and that's why the fool came out twice today. So I want to know, um, what is the seven of swords? Are you holding yourself back? Do you not believe in yourself? Do you, do you think that this situation is no longer available for you? Um, seven of swords, please. What is the seven of swords? Uh, the king of swords uh, needing to speak up, needing to have clear intentions and follow through with them. Uh, this is definitely that sense of maybe even seeing an attorney or some kind of judge or somebody maybe um, sort of giving you advice or something like that, okay? It also is that masculine energy of just putting your sword down, meaning speaking your truth. But are you holding that sword with the Seven of Swords and the King of Swords? What is the King of Swords, please? What is the King of Swords? Uh, okay, so you have here um, the King of Wands taking charge, right? Four of Swords, that's great. Putting an end to something. Is it putting an end to that um, that kind of energy where you didn't take control or you didn't take action? Uh, maybe you're thinking about it. Maybe you're thinking of, of a plan on how to start this new venture or this new 
uh, relationship or this new situation because you got the wheel of fortune as well so new cycles coming in i think that the the sense of doubt and holding back with the seven of swords and the king of swords it's really you're putting an end to it you're you're allowing yourself to heal from maybe um not taking action or having doubt or not listening to god or your spirit or maybe listening to others and when it comes to um like situations where people sort of block your energy like um like energy vampires you know they suck your your energy out of you and then you can't even think or you you just sort of uh, sort of recluse yourself from a situation um let's see here i want to know what is the chariot let's see the chariot speaks freedom it speaks balance it it, it speaks knowing your dualities knowing that that can't block you anymore okay you got the ace of cups and the page of swords so really discovering how to be vulnerable how to maybe learning how to communicate vulnerability or accepting love or maybe getting over of emotions like where emotions ran ran wild and you couldn't control them and now you can now you're you're sort of um pulling yourself back together here okay the ace of cups denotes a new love uh that sense of starting over again um let's see here what is the ace of cups please ace of cups so the moon um how are things really like with the moon um do you feel like like uh because of the chariot there and the good and the bad do you feel like this is not um good for you or you're not good for them or uh the sense of mystery or secrets that need to be revealed um are you not are you thinking you're not seeing clearly like in that sense of what i feel is like um you just maybe don't think that this could be you know like that feeling of it's too good to be true kind of feeling with the moon are you thinking that this is just a dream or um, something like that, okay? I want to know, what is the moon? What is the moon? Uh, so the world. So needing to get over that hump. Um, follow your intuition. Uh, let yourself speak those secrets that you've been holding or uh, especially like withholding, your, from, um, ho withholding from yourself, you know? allow that to go away so that you can go into that new um i want to know what is the page of pentacles page of pentacles learning to love yourself so that you can love others okay uh the strength card so going all in not having any doubt really struggling with your ego putting the ego down so this is where whoever this is they found some kind of balance and they're able to take charge now um Maybe with the plans that you haven't gone through with, you know, these could be things that you promised somebody and you didn't quite follow through yet. You know, they're saying yet. So maybe it's going to come into fruition where you move yourself towards that. You got the two of cups at the bottom. So is this a union? Is this a relationship? Um, maybe you told somebody I'll be back, you know, um, because I see here the hangman and the two of wands is this where you haven't been able to keep your promise um and maybe now it's coming too you know um i want to know what is the two of wands two of wands so you have here the five of wands so reservations or um conflict or uh, just where you're tied up and you can't move and it's something that's not your fault so it's out of your control it could be opposing energy it could be like with the nine of wands here like this kind of energy of being blocked from from being able to go towards the new thing but what i want to know what is the five of wands five of wands energy will they overcome that energy please five of wands okay so you got the hangman and the queen of swords. So yeah, some kind of truth is coming. I think that whatever this is with the um, the five of wands, that conflict from you moving forward, you got to maybe express things. Maybe you got to apologize and bring those secrets to the surface because 
maybe this is something that is very vulnerable vulnerable for you and you ran away from it before in the past and it's coming to revisit you you know what i mean um so let's see here i want to know how does the story end for today how does the story end for today please how does the story end that one as well see new cycles new um allowing yourself to get that wish fulfillment here okay um let's see here you have the the king of pentacles he did fly out in reverse so is this somebody who's not so material now you know more loving um maybe having more love and that's a gain okay so you could be dealing with somebody who's been very material and here's the six of wands at the bottom i mean the six of cups at the bottom so I do feel that this is somebody who, whether it's a masculine or a feminine, uh, divine feminine or divine masculine, they could have been grounded by money. And I got that with the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Like somebody who was driven by maybe luxury or um, bougie or money. Money, okay? I feel like that is gone. In that sense, that is a gain. Mm. And so maybe this is a struggle, um, the end of a struggle with the money, okay? Or something like that that didn't allow you to go towards the person you love or the thing that you love. This could be ending a separation here also, okay? Um, let's see. What can you show me as far as this, this karmic situation? What is the karmic situation? So someone's learned something. Um, I see money. I see money. So here's a friend of me. And then there is that money. So were you doing something that was hurting other people as far as money? Um, were you withholding money from somebody? Or was someone withholding money from you? Um, I think there is a change there. Uh, see, there is a change. With the misfortune... Uh, maybe you had to come off that ego and that materialism to see things for what they are now, okay? Um, because I don't think that money is fulfilling you anymore, okay? Uh, whoever this is, whether it's you or your person. Um, okay, so let's see here. These two are, oh, a reunion. Very long, very much longing for this reunion, whoever this is, whether it's divine feminine or divine masculine. But see... It's almost like with the Hierophant, what I felt is like, you just don't know how to change it. How do you get out of that? And see, so see whoever this is, they're learning but with the scholar. It did flip over. So I do feel this is a discovery of, oh my God, what truly makes me sort of pain for, you know, miss. Um, uh, yeah, you're paying attention now, whoever this is. It's a new cycle. And perhaps there is this new this sort of reunion coming in for you very nice um <clears throat> let's see here uh i want to know how do they continue to manifest this okay so choose who you are becoming and i swear this came out yesterday it's crazy i do feel someone's healed their heart chakra and i i, I think i even said um yesterday choose who you want to be tomorrow like seriously i feel like some of these heart chakras opening up one head one step ahead is all you need so i do feel you have to have that confidence you got to take that leap of faith towards that abundance whether that's love whether that's this reunion you know or that better partnership for you whatever that might be okay um i want to know what is the the message here with this deck what is the message here what is the message here please so behind the curtains reveal what you are not looking at wow so secrets you know um yeah i think you are looking at that person or that situation but you sort of have to reveal it you sort of have to speak up about it if that makes sense okay what is the angel message here what is the angel message here okay so you have fiona now that you've asked your angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. Yes, you do. Okay. Um, let's see here. I want to know, what is the unicorn message here, please? 
the unicorn message. Okay. So it says here, um, share. When you share, everyone feels happy. So maybe even sharing with your emotions. And then pets, you love and understand animals. Okay. And then truth. Uh, it says true. Yes, what you're asking about is the truth. So definitely. And then forgive. It's time to let go of anger or blame. And that's the big ego here that whoever this is is battling really is what it feels like. Um, letting go of that, that feeling. I want to know what is the chakra message here, please. The chakra message. What is the chakra message here? So it says, I am the light of my soul, third eye chakra. Keep manifesting, stay grounded to what you truly want. You got to speak your truth, you know, behind the curtains, really reveal what you're, what you're not looking at. Yeah. Yep. Let's see here. Uh, what is the insight here, please, with this reading? What is the insight? What is the insight? Okay, so uh, suppose support is available. Uh, you can access support right now. You have a team of guides just waiting to help you create all you desire. Call them and let them help you fulfill your dreams, definitely. And then be radically present. The past is a memory. The future doesn't exist. If you want to experience life, you have to be here now. Take a breath and observe every part of this moment right now. Very nice. Very nice. So let's see here. What is the affirmation, please? The affirmation. Okay, so you have... Today I am loved. Today I will know in my heart that I deserve love and respect. Yes, you truly do. Don't stay in something unfulfilling. Okay? Um, you'll be much happier, really. Uh, let's see here. I want to do this one right here. Uh, what is the message for this reading? What pertains to this reading, please? What is the message? Okay, that one. What is the message that pertains to this reading? Okay, so there we go. Um, it says here, ostrich trap, avoidance, close-minded, refusing to face reality, evading feelings, threatened, fake out, inhibit, fear-based thinking. Wow, that's a lot of stuff going on there, right? And then so yarn, hassles, problems, big mess, interconnection, complicated, patience needed, future gains, working it out, made up story, many working components, mischief, out of control. And then you have the balloons, fun, freedom, high vibe, relief, rising up, ascension, aspiration, success, joy. A stress free and that's definitely what it feels like you know going getting rid of all the other bad stuff okay I want to know what is the um, whispers of love here what is the whispers of love whispers of love please what is the whispers of love whispers of love please okay so you have here Express love through gifts. Giving small tokens to someone, express your love to them. Expresses love to them. Um, listen with your heart. Are you listening to what is being said to you but need to listen with a loving heart? Yeah, really have compassion, really. Um, so let's see here. I want to close it off with the soul message, please. What is the soul message? What is the soul message, please? Okay. Okay, so it says, am I willing? You are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? 
Yes, there's a risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before you will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. So today's action, be brave, follow your heart's compassion, lift the lid of your own dreams. Today's mantra, it is possible. Yes, it is possible. You, you don't have to keep dragging your feet in disbelief or maybe feeling that you don't deserve something if this is what's driving you let it drive you and be happy really so thank you so much have a beautiful day have a great day today guys stay blessed and safe i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you